Once again, welcome back, everyone, to the Sparky Lyle Show. I'm Paul Spahala. We're going to talk about the pitch that made Sparky Lyle famous, or the pitch that Sparky Lyle made famous, <laughs> however you want to look at it, uh, the slider. When, now, when you first started pitching, I guess you were basically, as most pitchers are, a straight fastball, curve, change-up kind of pitcher. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah, very much so. And I, I, I threw the curveball with my thumb off of it, kind of like that. You could, I would grip the ball so hard and press it against these fingers that this was the only part of my thumb that was on the ball. But they couldn't hit the doggone thing, so I just kept throwing it. Not fast, but effective. Yeah, very effective. Very, but then, that, that was my strikeout pitch. But then the, you get to the major leagues, or at least to, to the professional ranks, and at some point, I guess, how did you decide that you needed an extra pitch, and where did that pitch come from? Well, Ted Williams was the one that uh, told me all about that. I was in spring training with the Red Sox. They decided to start me against Florida State which was, I mean, I was all jacked up for that. And I had struck out 12 in five innings, and I'm doing my running, and I went in the clubhouse, and Ted Williams came in and said, who's this, uh, where's this lefty that pitched today? Right here. He said, you think you did pretty good today? Yes, sir. He says, well, you throw a curveball with your thumb sticking up. I can see it. He said, I know every time you're going to throw that pitch. He said, get dressed. We're going back out there. Make a long story short, we go out there, he not only taught me how to throw a 12 to 6 curveball with my thumb on the ball, but as we're done and walking back in the clubhouse, he says, I'll tell you what the best pitch in baseball is. It's a slider. He says it's the only pitch that he couldn't hit consistently when he knew it was coming. And he told me right there, and I have a book, his book signed in there, and he told me, if you get a slider, I'll see you in the big leagues. And wrote that in this book. And when it and, comes from Ted Williams, it's, uh, it's gospel. So I, he, he, he just told me what the spin was. He never told me how to throw it. But I used to lay in bed at night with a baseball in my hand in the dark trying to figure out how do I throw this to make this ball do what he told me that it does. Two quick questions. How long did it take to learn? Probably about a month of doing this. But the night that I got it, I got out of bed, it was easily 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm throwing against this garage I was living in under a street light and watching this ball just go straight down. I threw about 10 of them. And I, went, I was so excited I couldn't even sleep. And I went to the ballpark the next day and I'm warming up to go in the game. And uh, Eddie Papowski was the manager. I was in double A. And I'm warming up, and Bob Montgomery is catching me, and I'm throwing, throwing. I says, slider. He says, you don't have a slider. And I threw it, and I hit him right on the foot with it. He didn't even get leather on it. And I says, yesterday I didn't have one. Today I have one. For the benefit of the <laughs> viewers at home, what makes it so difficult to hit? The hitter can't decipher that between a fastball. And mine just went straight down about this far in front of the plate. It stayed straight, 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 and went straight down. So they teach you in the minor leagues, pitching-wise, that I think nowadays in baseball terms they call it, you gotta have more depth on your curveball. What that means is it's gotta stay on, stay on a certain plane until it make, gets to the spot where the hitter has to try and commit. And that's what mine did, which is about that far out, because all hitters hit the ball out in front of the plate. And they would swing and miss it. It looked like they'd miss it by this much, but that, and actually they only missed it by about that much. <laughs> but, but by that but much, that led to... It's a, it's a miss. That led to a Cy Young Award and two World Series championships. Yeah, that's right. Sparky Lyle and the Slider. More coming up on the Sparky Lyle Show as our season goes along. Somerville Aluminum sets the standard for best in class. For over three generations, we've seen products changing, processes changing. What hasn't changed about us is who we are. From our home to yours, we invite you to explore our new state-of-the-art showroom and visualize your dream. We want you to touch and experience the latest products so you can make the best choices. From kitchens and baths to windows, doors, and siding, we have it all. Be home assured with Somerville Aluminum.